Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Oh yes, Trackies, I'm no longer very space. <laughs> uh with that said track is we move right it's 2024 and of course as i said there's a lot of things that is making me excited for 2024 and coming up in 2024 is another world indoor championships and interestingly i peeped some training videos yesterday of sharika jackson kishane thompson and tina clayton working on their starts so i'm like okay it's clear that we're going to get some indoor action and not only from a Sharika, but we're gonna see from Tina much more apparently and also Kishane Thomas. Y'all know he's fresh, new on the scene. So you know, pretty much there's no 60 meter indoors to even speak on Chucky. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. No, um Sharika Jackson took part in the indoor 60 meters world championships back in 2022. And if y'all remember that epic, epic final where I believe fourth through to six, I would third through to six something track is all ended up on seven zero four and of course sharika being pretty new to the sprints entered the event and also placed with that seven zero four as her personal best now since then you know the personal best hasn't progressed but she hasn't really been running that indoor 60s but what i know for a fact is that sharika jackson's start is much much better than it was in 2022 now track is y'all remember that epic race in 2023 where everybody's jaws dropped to the ground i was like huh sharika literally bulleted out of the blocks and i'm like okay that start is starting. I want to see what that start looks like against a Shelly and Fraser Price. Unfortunately, Shelly and Fraser Price had a knee injury and, you know, she didn't get that little rocket start that she usually has at the World Championships. So, you know, it wasn't, it's not a fair comparison. Let's just put it that way, right? But still, with that said, I am eagerly anticipating this new version of Sharika with a much better start that we can all attest to turning up on the indoor circuit and potentially at the World Indoor Championships championships and i'm wondering what kind of times she could possibly drop now track is take a look at the current scene right now we have a julian alfred that are run 6.94 seconds crazy shattering records as it relates to ncwa's and of course tying second all time with alia hobbs for that indoor 60 meter personal best track is she's doing phenomenal things so if jamaica wants to compete in that 60 meters not only now do you know do we have to tussle with an alia house the american but we also have to tussle with the likes of the caribbean phenom from st lucia we're talking about julian alfred but again you know i'm excited to see what our girls can do i definitely believe sherika jackson can definitely drop a sub um seven seconds in that 60 meters this season and i also believe she can challenge um a julian alfred as it relates to that 60 meters and of course alia hobbs as well in that 60 meters so i'm really 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 excited back in um i believe the same 2022 uh, uh roughly 2023 when she was running on the indoor scene and i mean sherika jackson she was you know some place there you know in comparison to alia Hobbs. I don't want to exaggerate. She was someplace there uh, with Elia Hobbs. So now I expect her to really, really be able to contend with the girls running sub um sub seven in the women's 60 meters. Now when when we take a look at the likes of Tina Clinton, she also impressed me last season. In her first ever indoor, she looked like she handled that field well. Now, Jackie, she did eventually play second in that race, and a lot of people were like, oh, she played second. And that was a heat. And then in the final, you know, she was run aback. But I believe that there was some kind of instruction going on there to only, you know, come out and, you know, give a full account of yourself in one race. And that was the heat. And there was a stark difference between what we saw in the heat and what we saw in the final. But Tina Clayton, also a powerhouse there in the women's 60 meters, runs it mainly, you know, in Jamaica outdoors. I'm expecting to see her give a good account of herself this season as well. Will she be able to? 
you know, challenge for a quote unquote spot on the team to the, to the world championships. If she is interested, because again, it's only who is interested. And I believe you can only um, send two per event for the world indoors. So it will be interesting to see which Jamaicans, you know, indicate their interest in the event because everybody can go everybody cannot go and i remember back in 2022 we had brianna we sent brianna she was also tied in that seven you know zero four lineup you're running a personal best as well so it was a really really good running from our jamaicans it's going to be interesting to see who is who indicates their interest and who jamaica eventually chooses but based on you know the progression I'm hoping to see from Athena Clayton this year, coming off an injury prone last season, her first year, you would say professional. Clearly, the body has to break down a little bit before it can get back stronger. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to see her give a good account of herself. I don't know if we, you know, can look for her to go into the World Indoor Championships. You never know because last season when she came out with those 60 meters in Jamaica, she was beating every senior. You know what I mean? She was beating every senior she was up against, right? The ones that lined up, she defeated. So it would be interesting to see what she can do against the likes of a Brianna this season, providing that all of them are healthy. That would be interesting to see. Trackies. Now, um, the other athlete that I'm also excited to see from MVP. So now these are all MVP athletes. Clearly, Serika, clearly Tina, and of course, Kishane Thompson, right? So Kishane never been on the indoor scene, run the 60 meters here in Jamaica, but a completely different Kishin from the unknown to virtually the known in, you know, oops, like this, like a snap, like a magic one, oops, and he appeared. <laughs> Now, I did do my research on Kishane Thompson. I did see him running back in 2022. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I was a pre him. I mean, I lie. I mean, I checked for no Kishane Thompson back in a 2022. So those races exist, right? But yeah, I wasn't really checking for him. But no, clearly, I'm checking for him, right? So it'll be interesting to see what he can do better this season um, in that 60 meters. And I believe it will be incremental, especially going towards the end of the season when you start to you know talk about the outdoor championship. So we're talking about the Olympics. If he wants to, you know, contend against the like of a Christian Coleman, then the ability that start has to be much, much better. What I saw last season, you know, the start isn't the worst, but it also isn't the best. And coming from MVP, you're actually thinking that these athletes will have some of the best starts, right? So I'm hoping to see a lot more improvement there. When I look at his last race, you know, of the season, you know, his start wasn't on par with the likes of a Christian Coleman in that, you know, Prefontaine Classic. And of course, towards the end of his race, clearly also need, needs more, more work as well. You know, when you talk about his form, he, he clearly isn't the best looking sprinter. So there's a lot of room for improvement with him but we're starting with the sixes so let's see what kind of um you know shape he can be in or what kind of times he can drop in the indoor sixes that could potentially help him you know to blast out of the you know blocks and be a safa esque <laughs> um you know heading down that stretch to better and better times in 2024 as i said i did call kishane thompson to do something phenomenal um in 2024 i'm calling nine sevens and look here we'll probably see something better right because, so it's going to be very very interesting to see what the likes of kishane thompson will be able to do on the indoor circuit oil launch track is i'm expecting better performances that hopefully would lead to better outdoor performances for their individual events and i'm talking about that 100 meters and maybe you never know we'll see kishane thompson you know doing the 200 <laughs> you never know but anyway check his sound off in the comment section and let me know your thoughts the guys and the girls are gearing up from mvp to take the indoor circuit by storm apparently check is so enough in the comment section like the video of course and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one